everyone, it's Autumn. Today I wanted to do a video, kind of like a first impressions, on this. It's the Beauty 360 um, sponge that you can get at CVS. I kind of decimated the packaging when I kind of wanted to talk about it in the haul video. But I haven't used it yet, and I just kind of wanted to do a first impressions. Um, I haven't wetted it either. So it just kind of comes in like a package, and it's like hanging by the brushes at CVS. But anyway, it looks like a beauty blender, like the same bright coloring. Here's my beauty blender that's kind of, you know, faded and stained. But it's kind of like the same bright coloring that you would get when this is brand new. And then this has a reservoir that you actually put the product in that. And then it says, like, that you can apply it like this. I haven't obviously got it wet yet, so I'm getting ready to do that. But just kind of while they're both dry to kind of show you, this one is a lot more firm. So that's kind of a concern because this is really soft. So I'm going to go wet it and then I will be right back. So I have dampened the sponge and it is quite a bit larger. Um, it did fit in this hole before, if you can kind of see, and then this is how much larger it is now. It didn't exactly double in size, I wouldn't say, but it is quite a bit larger and it also is like you can hear the water in it all the water doesn't really ring out of it because it is so firm it's kind of hard to squeeze so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I purchased this foundation to kind of match my skin since my skin's a little bit darker right now and I had um, the it cosmetics CC in medium and then I also had the uh, Paracone MD that are actually match my skin right now but I thought I would try this with like an actual foundation sort of texture so that's why I purchased this so I'm going to go ahead, and by the way, I have the shade N4 right now. I'm going to go ahead and just pump some into the reservoir. And I'm going to put two pumps to start out with. The thing is the reservoir is so deep that by the time you pump that tiny amount in there, I don't know if they're expecting you to fill it up or what. So we're just going to go ahead and okay. <laughs> uh, get started. So start. And it's kind of making a mess here. I feel like it suctions to my face and it leaves like little hickeys <laughs> all over my face when I use it. I don't know if I'm actually getting any coverage whatsoever from this. Let's pump some more into there. Um, and I'm going to kind of squish it around in the hole this time to see if that helps any. Hmm. All right, so I don't actually feel like much product is getting on my skin. Um, in that way so what I'm going to do now is put a little bit onto the back of my hand so I have it on the back of my hand and now I'm just going to go through with this side and kind of put it on I feel like this is just too hard um, to leave any product behind if that makes sense like I feel like it's just kind of like smearing it. It's not like really blending it and like melding product in with the skin. Um, I feel like I'm just like smearing product around because it is so hard. Um, the side that has the reservoir actually gets softer and that's probably because the rest of it is solid and then it's kind of got the hole in it so that kind of helps it to be softer but on this side it's just so hard. Uh, I think they kind of got the idea for the reservoir though. I think there's a Bare Minerals brush that came out with one of their foundations where the brush kind of had a reservoir. But the idea behind the brush is like the bristles move enough to where that would work. The, this doesn't really move. It's like a, so, like, <laughs> it like suctions to the face. And I'll put this around the eyes. The rest of the texture of this, I was hoping because of the coloring and stuff and the size that it was going to be like a dupe for the Beauty Blender, but it's just too hard. Like you can't, 
it does not do the same thing as the Beauty Blender. And I feel like since it is so thick, it absorbs a lot more of the product. Usually I can, when I use this foundation, I only use about two pumps. I've so far I've had to use like five pumps and I still don't feel like I get what I normally get out of it. Um, just because this has absorbed so much of the product. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish my makeup and then I'll be back to talk about this. Okay, so after I did my makeup um, earlier this morning, I completely forgot that I was going to come back and talk more about the sponge. To be honest with you, it's just too hard. It's like hitting your face and then on this portion, it is like a minor like suc suction cup on the face. You, it kind of eats up all the product. It's just not really good. There's not really much else for me to say about it that I didn't say while doing the demo. Um, I just kind of wanted to do an overview. Yes, this only costs around $5 and like a beauty blender is 20 but just save your money because this just, it doesn't like hold water like a beauty blender. So when you squeeze it out, it's just, it's hard, but it also, since it doesn't hold the water like the beauty blender does, if you don't squeeze it out, then like you're using it and you're getting water everywhere. Um, it's just not a good product. So this is a definite fail. Steer clear. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.